It was a brutal punch that proved to be fatal. And for one Detroit police officer, it led to manslaughter charges late last year. But those charges were dismissed last week to the surprise of many, including some inside Detroit police headquarters. Tonight's 7 investigator Ross Jones is digging into what surveillance and body cam video shows and why some police commissioners say the judge got it wrong. So as it relates to count one, the court is not satisfied that people have met their burden of probable cause. In his ruling last Thursday, 36 District Court Judge Kenneth King dismissed all charges against Detroit police officer Jawan Brown, accused of involuntary manslaughter in the death of 70-year-old Daryl Vance. It's a very difficult situation because I do have a 70-year-old man that's now deceased. But the question is, did he cause his own peril? Vance died after being taken off life support following an altercation with Officer Brown in September. Body cam video from that day was played for the first time in the judge's courtroom. What's up, sir? How you doing today? Police were called to the Garden Bowl in Midtown just after 6 p.m. The 70-year-old Vance was drunk and belligerent, staff said, and refused to leave. Uh, you walk down the sidewalk, you put your hands on me again, and it's going to be some a witness described Vance as smelling of alcohol and unsteady on his feet. At the beginning of the interaction, Officer Brown is calm, but as Vance continues to be uncooperative, the officer pulls out his taser. What you want to do? What you want to do? Get your hands on me. I'll bite you up. And I'm going to knock your mother out. Oh, so I ain't going to put my hands on you. But I don't like you. De-escalation involves a lot of things. None of them are what I saw on the video that I looked at. We shared the video with Dennis Kenny, a professor of criminal justice at John Jay College in New York. The subject um, was difficult. He was certainly being problematic, but that's not new for the police. They're they're used to that and they're trained and, and are expected to be able to deal with that. As more time passes, Officer Brown appears more impatient. At one point, he pushes Vance into a man walking down the street. Seconds later, Brown puts his hand out to touch Vance, and a few seconds after that, he does it again. Not long after, Officer Brown assumes a fighting stance. Keep watching. After being punched, Vance lay motionless in the street after striking his head on the pavement. He would die days later from his injuries. I don't know if I'm ready to concede that that's excessive in light of the circumstances. I don't think that's excessive force. Did it look like excessive force to you? Absolutely. No doubt. No doubt. We showed the video to Police Commissioner Ricardo Moore, who helps oversee DPD, along with Commissioner Willie Bell, who spent 32 years on the force. I strongly disagree with the judge ruling. That was extreme excessive force. Both disagreed with the judge's ruling and what he said he saw on video. In court, Judge King said the officer's actions were justified, in part, because he didn't throw the first punch. He said Daryl Vance did. I saw a punch thrown. I know I'm not seeing things. But watch the video again. What do you see? I do not see a punch being thrown by Mr. Vance. There was no punch thrown by the man, period. I didn't see any physical attack uh, on the officer. Um, it, it appeared much more that that the officer was the one doing the, the more aggressive uh, moves. Tonight, the charges against Officer Brown have been dismissed. Wayne County's prosecutor says she plans to appeal. And I did reach Officer Brown's attorney, Steve Fishman, by phone last night. He said the following. Any police officer who watched that video and believes that Officer Brown did not act in self-defense obviously has problems with their vision. When citizens call police officers to a scene, they expect them to do something, and that is exactly what Officer Brown did. Judge King was correct in his analysis, and he will be affirmed if the prosecution decides to appeal. And as we mentioned, they say they are going to appeal that decision, and DPD has terminated that officer. They say um, we'll see whether or not he's able to get his job back through arbitration. DPD obviously has an issue with it, and it's hard to argue that that's de-escalation no matter what. That's what every expert I've talked to has said. And you can... Look at the video and judge for yourself, and it's pretty clear. All right, thank you, Ross, always for your good work.